Hello everybody, and welcome to RimWorld. It's updated. We're on version 0.1.334 now, and uh, I haven't played it yet. But I can tell you that right off the get-go, this is a much more beautiful picture than what we had before. Like, just look at that. Look at that without my cursor on the screen. Like, I, I really just want to get rid of these buttons and this stuff, and then turn this into the background or the the thumbnail for this video. That'd be great. Um, there's still no music on the title screen, but I don't blame them. <laughs> I can't wait for this game to be done. I can't wait for music and all that. Now then, what I noticed right away, I got the mercenary tier when I got this game. So I do have a name in here and a character background, but I don't remember the last name of my my character that I put in there. But that'd be really cool. What is development mode? I'm not going to hit that because I don't know what that is. But um, let's see what kind of new stuff they have. I know that, yeah, they got artwork. Ooh. Ooh, tough Cleopatra classic. Cassandra classic's less forgiving cousin has the same thing right now as Chill Cali Classic and Cassandra. However, Phoebe and Randy have new stuff also. Nice smiley face. Oh, I didn't even notice in the artwork on the main page, I didn't even notice that he had a robot hand. He's got an opening there, I wonder what that kind of does. I'm pretty sure that they're going to add augmentations eventually, so maybe that's an example. Um, I'm, I'm not very good at this game. I'm going to do normal though. And let's see. Ooh, nerd. <laughs> curious about everything while well, other kids played tag in the suburbs of their industrial city. Zyph read every book he could find about technology, robots, and weapons. Whatever looked coolest. His strong French accent kept him from making real friends. Oh, Do they still do nothing? Yes, they are. A janitor. While other passengers pass the years between star systems and long sleep sarcophagi... Sarcophagi? Sarcophagi? I think it's sarcophagi. I, I think I made that same mistake before. In long sleep sleepy thingies, Brianna had to wake up at periodic intervals to perform inspections, check the navigation systems, and to oil the mechanoids. Alright, and then Noble, that's pretty normal. Frightened child. Hold on, I wonder if any of these had... Hey, what is this? Here, I'm going to randomize. Daria. Cave World Tunneler, that's new. <laughs> An herbalist. These are pretty cool. Wasteland Ruffian. Survival was a day-to-day -day struggle. Food usually consisted of half-decomposed animals, and water had to be condensed from the air. To survive, Nev became... Nev? Wait, your name is Nev? <laughs> to survive, Nev became resourceful. A surveyor from the Ordo Historia happened across Nev's world and rescued him. Okay. Artificial lungs. Oh, I can randomize specific... Ew. Okay, so yeah. Son of a Huntress. And a space hunter. Shelter child, spoiled child, test subject. Okay, <laughs> labs and scientists scare her. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah, I'm definitely liking these so far. Mechanoid nerd.
They encouraged his interest in the machines. Eventually, he became obsessed with building his own. Unfortunately, this also led him, or led to him being a loner, as he preferred technical books to friends. You know what? This kind of reminds me of one of the, like this. Okay, yeah. When I when I look at this, this reminds me of. I think that I might have put in something similar to this, and then maybe he altered it a little bit to make it more interesting. <laughs> that grown assassin. I do, I really like these stories. A wild child. Alcoholic trucker. I'm liking all these new things. I should stop saying that because that's pretty much... It's been like six minutes of me saying, I like this. I like this. Ooh, that's interesting. Ooh, I like this. <laughs> Zane. I'm looking at the names now. Ekman. Huh. Alright, well, let's just random a whole bunch of times and end up with a shelter child, Navy scientist. Gawain grew up in a shelter deep beneath a toxic world. She received a comprehensive education, but had no opportunity to do physical labor. Yeah, that makes sense. And we end up with Yoko. Oh, <laughs> good job, guys. Thanks for putting Yoko in there. Alright. That grown soldier and herbalist. Medicine, growing, and less social. Okay, let's do this. And then Andrew, who was a scout. Born to colonial administrators from a small imperial power, Rim was enrolled in a youth program that taught military scouting skills. He learned to survive in the wilderness, to obey, and not to ask questions. So no researching, but I mean... That's fine. Okay. Ooh, advanced. What kind of stuff do you have here? Oh, that's still just that. Hey, wait a minute. Hey. The game isn't optimized yet. I'm pretty sure that they did a little bit of optimization. But for now, I'll keep this just normal. So let's start. I don't think there's music in the main thing either. But hey, I'm still kind of excited for this. The three of you awake in your long sleep, sleepy thingies to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Some time later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. Okay. So these are funky... Funky shapes now. Whoa! Okay, so... Yes, people actually have appearances now. Hold on, let's check out our characters. Shooting, 7, 3, and 6. So you get that, you get that, and you get that. What is this? Visibility of zones. What kind of zones are these? Dumping stockpile, and then an actual stockpile. Stockpiles are new, that's where you put your... Uh, your food and stuff. Okay guys, so let's see. Overview. Everyone do everything if you can. For now. I'll probably change this later. Silver. Okay, hold on. Little use on its own. This metal is mostly used as a commodity currency. Okay, so they replaced the money with silver. I wonder if you can find and mine silver. Oh, come on. I know this already. <laughs> Select the food and metal near your landing site and press F to forbid them. Why would I do that? Why would I forbid this stuff? Oh, unforbid them. But, yeah, I'll... I know, game. <laughs> I 
I was just looking at all the stuff. They go, hey, look at the new stuff. Let's check out Architect, see if there's anything new here. Dumping stockpile, stockpile. Wait, hold on, can we? Oh man, that's so useful. I like that. Deconstruct. Delete zones. Okay, yeah, that, that's how that works. <laughs> I didn't see that. Buildings. Hopper, you connect those to your nutrient paste dispensers. I know that. Launch pad. Only items on launch pads can be sold to space traders. Wait. Only works if not roofed over. Um, nothing new here. Furniture, nothing new there. Security, nothing new. Research, any new research? Researches? Mm, doesn't look like it yet. Um... Alright, well, people look better now. Mainly, I think that this update was just to make things look nicer and maybe work better. Um, structure, let's... Where are we going to build our house? I kind of like this area. Yeah, once we get all of this stuff... Yeah, I know, game. <laughs> This stuff, we're going to have to transport all this stuff. That's something new. But, um... But, um... Alright, sorry guys. <laughs> you know what I still don't like? The fact that these areas are going to get filled up and... You run out of space to throw out garbage like this. You know what? I hope that someday we have... Like, we're given technology, like smelters or something and well I guess not smelters but like well maybe smelters smelters and then you can like take slag debris and such oh hey I want to unforbid that take slag debris and such and like turn it into smooth stone or something and lay that out on the floor that'd be pretty cool if you could craft things I guess but I don't see that as being an important thing. Just something that I would find useful. <laughs> so, let's see. Right off the bat, do we have any geysers? Because I assume that those are still, like, the best s source of power. There are none uh, that I can see... Yeah, I don't think we have any. Well, do we really want to transport all of our stuff way down here to build a house? Or maybe we should just stick around up here. Because right here wouldn't be a bad place to have a house. Yeah, I think we're just going to live here. The question is, where do we do this? Because we are definitely going to connect this. This is just mirrors the game kind of quiet. Here, I'll just... Because it looks fine on my thing. Well, the game is quiet, but that's because it's just a quiet game. I don't like the color of the messages. And I don't like the positioning. I think that they should be more down here. But stockpile zones... Rename this zone. Oh, cool. Stock, stock, pile, dog pile. <laughs> Alright, so this is pretty cool. Priority. Oh, that is awesome. This site is now called dog pile. <laughs> so, orders. I need a couple people to do that. Structure. We want to put a door here. And here. And then we want... Hold on. Actually, cancel those. We want to put those there and there. And then we're going to... 
mine this area out like a square. Let's see, I think that this is going to be too big to build a roof over, but that's fine because I don't really want a roof here. Um, zones, stockpile, let's, let's not do that yet. Let's keep our stockpile where it is. All right, delete zones is there. Home region, they changed it from home zone to home region. Okay. And you know what, I may as well do that. Make it a little bit bigger. And they have to take resources to their buildings now. Okay, and that stuff, I need to tell them to haul it again. Oh, it could make a thing. Well, that's actually kind of not good, because that means that now we need lamps. Well then, let's make lamps. Uh, they definitely increased the length of wires. Oh, that door's gonna be useless. Yeah, I cancel that. Somebody go build. Alright, and then we want to haul the stone. I like the way that this works. Where you build, like, you bring some metal... These aren't going to do anything. Can I cancel that? Yes. <laughs> I'm an idiot. You guys were probably telling me that. Well, you guys can't tell me that because this is a video. But you guys were probably shouting that at your computer anyways. Um, I can't fit that. That won't look good. Alright, well then I need you guys to haul those as well. And then build one of those, one of those. And then... We need to mine that. Okay. No power yet. We're gonna want batteries. What is this? A roof? Uh-oh. Well then, somebody build a wall for support. That should have a higher priority than mining. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Hold on. Actually, one, two, three, four, five. It'd be nice if I could turn on a grid. That's something that they should have in this game. A grid. One. I know! <laughs> I right-clicked that just to tell it. <laughs> so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Well, that sucks. Actually, no, it doesn't. 19 divided by 2 is 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's not true. Who am I talking about? 9 times 9 is 18. So, 8, 9, so right here is in the middle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, that's going to be uneven. I'll just mine out one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And so right there's in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the middle. So right there is where we want to build 
our wall for our support. Can I put... You still should be able to make double doors. Double doors would be cool. I don't know why, just because it would fit structures better. Um, it's not actually all that important. And luckily, people can eat now, even if they don't have, like, a, a nutrient paste dispenser. Oh, this is interesting. Hold resources for use by machines like nutrient paste dispensers or turrets. Do turrets need metal now? I don't know. Zones, furniture, sleeping spots. For now, we'll just sleep like that and deconstruct these. Okay, can you hurry up and get at least one of these done? I mean, it's, it's not really gonna help us. Let's deconstruct that. Oh, somebody actually has to go and deconstruct it now. So right now we don't have any power. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Turn that off. So now everyone's gonna sleep. And our walls are eroding. Okay, so the way that these dandelions are shaking doesn't really look like wind. It looks like there's like an intense heat kind of messing with the air in front of them, so it looks kind of wavy. That's what it looks like to me. I think it makes this place look a lot more hot, but I think that it was meant to look windy. Yoo-hoo, daytime. Okay, awesome. Wait until people wake up. Do we still not have enough power for these? Are these just... They're not connected to anything. Okay, well... Ah, uh, they're connected to the wall that isn't connected to anything. Okay. Well, that works. Um, I realize that we won't be able to fix these walls if they get damaged. Okay, we'll deconstruct these as well. Ugh. It's kind of frustrating. Is this going to be enough to support the whole building? Well, now that I've deconstructed all the batteries, we don't have any power. Three, four, five. That's probably good. And they need a direct power link. So... We've got to do that. Oh no, not a boom rat. Get out of here, boom rat. He's not actually causing any harm. Alright, awesome. So now we can store some power. I hope that the ceiling doesn't collapse and kill everyone. Because it could do that. And I wouldn't put it past RimWorld to do that. Where is good place? Where is good place to make the foods? Okay, you know what? I don't like that spot. It's not close enough to deconstruct. Growing area. Near the stockpile. Can I rotate? I was like, how do you rotate? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually rotated these before. 
Yeah, let's just put that there. And somebody get off of that and get onto that growing. Yep. Go plant your stuff. Yay, everybody working together. Um. Hmm. I'm contemplating whether... Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I wonder if research stations need power. I don't think they do. I still think that they should. Because, like, you can't convince me that researchers don't use much power. Because they do. <laughs> Let's build a nutrient paste dispenser and a hopper. Let's build a couple of hoppers. And whoever's on cooking is probably gonna get to that. We could use a little bit of metal, so somebody should go do that as well. Is mining... Mining and constructing. So why are you guys mining instead of constructing that? Oh, you don't have enough metal. Okay. Yep, time to eat. <laughs> oh, need a research project. How about we do carpet making? Uh, no. How about we do hydroponics? How about I need more settlers? Yay, we've got a hopper. We can put food in it. But we're out of food now. These 38 potatoes that we have better last us a long time. <laughs> hey, we're actually cleaning. Cool. It took you 10 potatoes? You eat 10 potatoes? Alright, we'll clean up the place. And... How much longer do these need? 1.4 days. And no, we don't need defenses yet. That's not very vital. What kind of stuff do I want to do? Ah, launch pads are kind of big. Well... Hmm... I don't know what to do now. We have a setup. Maybe... A drop beacon? Nah, I think we're fine. I think that right now what we really need is somebody to be on mining duty, or, yeah, you know what, you are the best researcher, you don't mind. What are you doing? You're mining. I just told you to stop mining. Didn't I? No, Gawain. Okay, good. Gawain, you get to research. But, alright, I'm... I'm actually, I'm going to end it here, guys. Um, these are kind of my first looks. I really like the new update. I think it's going to be much more usable. So uh, here we go. I guess that this is episode one of season four of RimWorld. So uh, I like this. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.